If you truly want to achieve your dreams, if you truly want to strive for the life you know you deserve, there's going to be one bitter pill you have to swallow, which might not be as bitter as you think it is if you're able to see the wisdom behind it. If you want to achieve greatness in life, if you want to achieve success, if you want to achieve excellence, you're going to have to run, I repeat, run towards the things that frighten you, that cause you anxiety, that make you feel the most doubt about yourself. Because beyond those walls of doubt, being scared, fear, anxiety, beyond those walls are where you can find greatness, excellence, success, and where your dreams will be found. But you need to understand that 95% of people are going to be dumbfounded at that advice because throughout our whole lives, throughout our childhood, throughout going to school, and even into our workplaces, we are taught to fear failure. We are taught to despise it. We are taught that whenever we're in a situation where we feel doubt, fear, anxiety, or being scared, we should run away from the source of that as much as we possibly can. Yet, I want to make an analogy here to that of procrastination. Usually, when people procrastinate, we think of them as slackers. We think of them as people who just don't want to do the hard work, they're lazy, they're not disciplined, so on and so on. Although those are fair points, I want to bring a new perspective to you. The people who will procrastinate often do so the most because they're actually scared of doing the task. The doing the task is terrifying to them. So yes, even that simple homework assignment, that is terrifying because that means, oh my God, once I finish playing Call of Duty, I have to do this annoying, tedious, scary task that I might not fully understand or fully want to do. And that fear usually drives people to not just procrastinate, but also run away from the tasks, the assignments, the priorities they know they should have if they want to have a better life. So you need to understand that a lot of this is fear driven. A lot of people will not do what they know they should be doing because they are scared. They are terrified. And that can go from being a procrastinator to simply never pursuing YouTube, never talking to that person you liked, never making new friends because you were so scared of stepping outside your comfort zone. But I am here to tell you that we need to have a mindset shift if you truly want to have success, if you truly want to find yourself doing the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. One of the most upfront realities is that you're going to have to run towards a thing that frightens you. You're going to have to do the thing that you don't want to do at the specific moment. You're going to have to make the jump because there will be so many other people who will not make the jump because they're too scared. They're too terrified. They're too doubtful of their own abilities to do so. And if you truly want to be successful, this is just the ultimate reality you're going to have to accept and execute on and be accountable for if you truly want to be part of the 1%. So you need to choose your reality, either running away from your anxiety, fears, or doubts just for it to still linger in the back of your subconsciousness or to finally do the thing you've been averting for so long just to find out that one, it perhaps wasn't as hard as you thought it was. And two, there was untapped potential. There was untapped greatness lying behind that the whole time. And lastly, I would like to say one final thing before I end the video. If your dreams do not scare you, if your dreams do not terrify you, if your dreams don't make you at least sweat or give you some form of anxiety, then they're probably not big enough to begin with anyways. With that being said, do more, think less.